So in this video, we've got a two-part question. Part A, a car of mass 900 kilos produces a maximum power of 45 kilowatts. It experiences a constant resistance of 1700 newtons. Find its maximum speed along a horizontal road. So we're just going to deal with part A for the moment. So I'm going to draw a diagram. So here is my car. And it's got a mass of 900 kilos, so weight 900g. There's going to be a normal reaction force because it's in contact with the surface. I'm going to let D go towards the right, that's the driving force. And to the left is the constant resistance of 1700 newtons. Now, because we're looking at the maximum speed, the acceleration is going to be zero. So uh, the acceleration is zero. And that's going to imply that D is equal to 1700 newtons, okay? Because um, it's just using Newton's second law, F equals MA. D take away 1700 must be equal to the mass, 900 times acceleration, zero. Now, we know that the power is equal to the driving force times the velocity. So the power in this case is 45 kilowatts, so 45,000 watts is equal to D, which is 1700, times by the velocity V. And the velocity here is the maximum velocity that I want to find. So 45,000 divided by 1700. And so that is 26.4705, so 26.5 metres per second to three significant figures. OK, now um, let's say um, just for the video that we want that to be in miles per hour. OK, so um, we've been converting miles per hour to metres per second, so let's go back again. So um, I've got the full calculator display on my calculator still. So that's currently metres per second. So if I go uh, to shift and then number eight, and I go down to velocity, I can convert that from metres per second to kilometres per hour. So pressing number two. OK, so pressing enter, or equals, that's 1,620 over 17. So that's now kilometres per hour. And now, if I go shift 8 and I go to length, I can convert from kilometres to miles by pressing number 8. And so we get that that is 59.2 miles per hour. OK, uh, to three significant figures. OK, so it's a good opportunity to do a little bit of conversion. Right, part B. The car now comes to a two degree downhill slope. What new maximum speed is achievable? OK, so let's draw a diagram. Here is my slope. That's meant to be two degrees. Here is my car. OK, so there is going to be the driving force acting down the slope. We're going to have the resistance force, 1700 newtons. We've got the normal reaction force perpendicular to the slope. And then we have the weight acting vertically downwards, so 900g. So let's complete the right angle triangle there. That's two degrees. So this is the adjacent side, so that's 900 G cosine of two degrees. And this is 900 G sine of two degrees, that opposite side. So I'll just write the 900 G here so that it's not getting confused with that. OK, that'll do. So the acceleration is equal to zero. We're still looking at maximum speed here. So I'm going to resolve down the slope here. 
Okay, it's not just that D is equal to 1700 again, because we've got the uh, weight uh, acting in that direction as well. So we have D, so working down the slope, we've got D plus the 900 G sine of two degrees. Okay, so they're the two forces acting down the slope. Take away the 1700 is equal to the mass times the acceleration, which is zero. Okay, so D in this case is 1700 take away 900 times 9.8 times sine of 2 degrees. Uh, now make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode and mine was in radians. Okay, so we should get 1,392.186439, and that's Newton's. So that's my driving force. So uh, the power, again, is 45,000, so I'm using this formula here. I'll write it down here. So we've got 45,000 is equal to the driving force. 1,392.186, etc., times by the maximum velocity. So the maximum velocity is 45,000 divided by this, which is 32.3, well, meters per second to three sig fig. And let's convert that into miles per hour, because I did that for part A. So that's currently meters per second, so I'm going to go shift number 8, and then down to velocity to convert it from meters per second to kilometers per hour. So that's 116.36, etc. kilometers per hour. And then I'm going to press shift 8, length, and convert it from kilometers to miles, so number 8. And we get 72.3 miles per hour to three significant figures.